I think using CGI kind of came natural because it allowed me to remain like working from my desktop. It was a way of making um, a film or making sculpture that had three-dimensional form where I didn't need to like use a chisel and a hammer or work with, with actresses and I could kind of have the, this um, work method that I was quite familiar with and that I enjoyed. And maybe it's a crutch in a way that I can, that I rely on that, but it just feels, um, it feels easy to me. And um, perhaps like, you know, saying this out loud makes me think that I should move away from it and try something else, but it's just been a really like continuously natural and or easy way for me to work. Uh, I, do, I do think about audience, I do think about maybe accessibility in terms of what I'm putting out and how for one it is reachable so in pragmatical terms like is this if I make a video I try to put it online so that people have access to it but I also try to I, I am thinking in my work of making things where there's an entry point so it is not completely elusive or ungraspable or well I, th I would say I'm considerate of maybe a person who hasn't read the same books necessarily as me, but having still an entry point to, to what I care and think about. I don't think it's it's um, a necessity for me for everything to like go viral. It's nice if it does, but it's not. That's not how I maybe think of the work. I, I think of the work in being open to a degree and being uh, accessible. But um, it's more like it's it's less of a disappointment. It's not a disappointment if they don't go viral. It's more like a nice thing if that happens. But it's not something which I'm necessarily aiming for. Writing commentary or notes upon imaginary books instead of explaining in 500 pages an idea whose full verbal exploration takes only a few minutes. Acting as if the book had already been written by another author, an author from another language circle, and as if wanting to plagiarise, summarise and review the hypothetical book. A ship that returns to its port of destination after decades, after having all its parts exchanged throughout continuous repairs. An axe that has its handle replaced five times and head replaced four times. A gown in which there is no large the, piece the of The ideas the from versions are still relevant to what I'm thinking about in terms of how I approach sculpture. It's still quite present, but also in terms of how I um, think about my other video works. I feel in some ways I'm kind of redoing another form of versions but just with a different title so I feel they come out of the similar um, thoughts and um, it's also not a closed um, series so I'm assuming at some point I'm going to make another one that might have that title again but um, it's yeah it feels like something I kind of can't get get rid of or like distance myself from.